Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how you can protect your Steam keys if you're an indie dev wanting to sell your game on Steam. If you have any sort of interest in your game, you will be getting emails from scammers trying to get keys for your game so they can sell it on somewhere like G2A, for example. In my job, I regularly get emails from people claiming to be Steam curators asking for multiple keys for a game. Uh, YouTubers asking for multiple keys for a game, streamers, you name it. People will email you. This is obviously a boilerplate email. They'll have just like merge tagged your game into the body of the email and they'll ask for an insane amount of keys, sometimes up to like five keys. For one game that's not multiplayer, has no reason to have that many keys going out, and any other legitimate person wanting a key for your game is more than likely only going to ask for one key. But there are a lot of like different alarm bells and I want to go through a specific instance of an email I received um, and kind of walk through the process that I went through to establish that this was a scam. So let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so let's take a look at this subject a little bit more in detail. So I've got this email here from uh, virtual life YouTube at gmail.com. Hi, my name is Jeremy. I'm a YouTuber with 15k subs. Here's my channel. I noticed your Empires of the Undergrowth. So, you know, not your game, Empires of the Undergrowth. Uh, I noticed your Empires of the Undergrowth in YouTube recommendations and fell in love with it. Well, I mean, you know, that's great. I'm very touched by that. They really want to review it. Can they have three keys for them and their friends? Uh, many thanks. Now, first off, uh, Empires Undergrowth, not multiplayer. So you wouldn't need three keys for you and your friends. Um, and this is quite a common tactic. They'll ask for multiple keys because why not? You know, this one, this one's quite short and to the point. Some other stuff to look out for from other scam emails. It'll be say, it'll say something like, I noticed your game. And then the title of the game will be uh, like in all caps or it'll have square brackets around it. And you can tell that it's just some automated sort of mail merge, just pulling your name in to the body of the email. But you know, on the surface, it's not, not too bad. Um, doesn't scream scam straight up, but let's go over to their YouTube channel. So if I go over here, virtual life, your daily dose of games reviews. Um, you know, they're not lying. They do have nearly 15K subscribers. They've got a banner. It looks quite profesh. Um, if we go over to their videos, you'll notice that they've not got a huge amount of videos, but it goes back three months. Um, but what you will notice is that pretty much every single video has the same amount of uh, views. Which like not not a single one of these videos has gone above the kind of like 2k mark, I think. So look, okay, so Hitman 2's gone above uh, 2k, but the rest kind of around that. Um, and this is quite a good hint that they have bought the views. Um, when you notice the views are every single video has the same amount of views, then you know something's a bit fishy there. If you look at my channel, or just if you go to sort of any YouTube channel, you'll notice that there's a bit of difference now. Um, I've got 730 views on this one, 96 here, 364 on this short. Uh, some videos have done really well, like 4.5K, 952. So th there's a lot of variation. You wouldn't get, you know, let's go, go to the uh, the Brackies channel. Better example, loads of views, 1.5 million subscribers. So sad that he left. Um, but even here, you'll notice that there's 235,439, 179. It's not that even, like, it's weird that all of these videos have around about the same amount of views. Now, um, the first thing I'll do when I'm checking out um, any sort of like YouTuber or Twitch streamer that's asking for a key, especially if they're asking for multiple keys, is go over to the about page, click on view email address, prove that you're not a robot, and then hit submit. Now, it comes up here with their email address. Let's just zoom in there. If I, I would then compare that to the email that they've um, sent to me. So we've got virtual life uh, YouTube at gmail.com, virtual life YouTube at gmail.com. So, you know, that's fine. Sometimes you'll see that um, they'll link you to a legitimate streamer and say, like, oh, hey, I'm PewDiePie. And it'll be PewDie and their email address will be pretty similar. It'll be like PewDiePie at gmail.com, but the I will be a one, for example, or the I will be an L. They'll swap a letter to make it kind of look realistic. So that's the only problem of having your uh, email on your channel. People can do that. Um, in this case, the, you know, that's, that is correct. Virtual life YouTube, virtual life YouTube. So, and my virtual life 
starts here. I mean, that's quite, it's nice that, you know, I was worried about the metaverse, but it looks like it's starting right here. So maybe at this point I'm thinking they're legit. Um, but this is where it gets interesting. If you go back over to the home page of this channel and pause it, um, let's go back over to video. Oh, this is another thing. Their channel, despite having 15k subscribers, they've not, other than and a banner, they haven't done anything else to the front of their channel. Um, again, if you go to like the home page of any sort of good channel that has grown, you've got different playlists, you've got, um, you know, the buttons attached. You go to the about, it's a little bit more fleshed out. There's different links and stuff. There's none of that here. It's the bare minimum <laughs> information. And there's no sort of, you know, organization to the home page. So if I go back over to videos, um, so I'll click on this Timberborn one. Um, see, 2,700 views, 30 for January. It seems quite recent. Uh, so it uplo they uploaded this eight days ago-ish. Um, and all these comments are from eight days ago. And they seem to be talking about specifically about Timberborn because they're on about uh, it being a city builder, um, about the beaver cities, Timberborn being a, a city builder with where you play as beavers. So, you know, that, that seems all kind of legit. But considering there is 2,700 views, there's not a huge amount of comments and they were all eight days ago. But again, it kind of sells it. That looks a little bit, uh, that makes it seem quite legit. But now here's interesting. If you go back to the very first video on the channel, The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, and another thing that really annoys me about these videos is, you know, they've just ripped a trailer, um, uploaded this with kind of the text-to-speech robot voice over it. With hard for decades, and between its original Japanese release on three. So that screams not real. Um, then you go down and, oh, look, there's not a huge amount of comments. They're all talking about the game, but they were all eight days ago. Every single comment, eight days ago. Um, so they've got a thousand views. It was uploaded in October, and they've only got 15 comments all from eight days ago. Let's go over to Marvel's Avengers. Oh look, eight days ago, same, roughly same amount of uh, comments. There's a few more on that one, it looks like. So all of the comments seem legitimate. They're talking about the actual game, but you know, alarm bells are ringing when they're all done on the same day. So that's just something else to look for. And now to try and put my money where my mouth is, if we go over to somewhere like um, G2A, and if I search for Empires of the Undergrowth, you see that we're listed here, but we're listed at £16. Actually, we're listed at £60, and we're on sale 73% off, like, grab a good deal. If you, and this is a Steam gift, but not a key. If you go over to our store page, uh, you see that our game, it's only fifteen ninety nine. Even if they sell it at this G two A plus price, um, all that's going to be is someone with an account. They're buying the game for fifteen ninety nine. We still get the money. They get a bit of profit, and it gets pushed out to us. You know, that's not the worst thing in the world. They haven't stolen a key. You know, I'm not condoning it. If you want it, just come straight to uh, Steam because why not? But you know, that shows that we've been very good with our keys for Empires of Undergrowth. Um, if we go over to ecosystem, this is listed as fifteen forty nine, and then the only place on G two A, if we look for an ecosystem key, there is one available. It looks like for fourteen pound fifty, and I'm pretty sure I know where this key uh, came from. I'm not going to slag off any companies. Uh, that's not what this video is about. But I used a key service. They told me all of the people were vetted. I tried to look and I couldn't find any sort of scam kind of like alarm bells from the person. So I sent them a key just as a test. And then within sort of a few days, it's ended up on G2A. So yeah, just be very careful with your keys. You know, it's free and easy to get a key off Steam. And you might think, oh, you know, I'll, I'll give a free key out. What, what's, the, what's the harm? You know, it's not costing you any money. But when it ends up on somewhere like G2A, it is going to cost you money because people will go there to buy keys. But yeah, I hope this video was useful. I hope you gleaned some information about how to protect your indie game keys. If the video was useful, it'd be great if you could like the video and let me know. Maybe I'll turn this into a bit of a series about investigating different scam emails I get. I don't know, I quite like that idea. If you do want to see that or any other content from my channel going forward, you can also subscribe and hit the notification bell. And in the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.